three, three. <laughs> Let's start that one again. Hi, I'm Kat and I run the motorhome home and travel website, Wandering Bird. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, welcome. If you find this useful and you'd like more tips and adventures on motorhome travel, then feel free to subscribe. One of the biggest problems motorhome and camper van owners face if they want to use their vehicle all year is how do you find campsites that are open? Now, a lot of campsites choose to close, certainly around the end of October, October half term, and they don't reopen till March at the very earliest. So there are nowhere near as many campsites throughout the off season as there are during the summer. But the off season is one of the best times to explore because there are fewer people and you can actually get access to some of the incredible sites without massive crowds around them. It's one of my favorite times to tour, but finding a campsite can be tricky. So here are some of the websites that I use. Now there are plenty of apps that will show you the campsites and the overnight parking spots that you can use, but most of them do not show you whether those campsites are open all year or not. So what you have to do is you find it on the app, find out one near where you're going to go, and then you have to click through to the campsite website and you find out whether it's open or closed. That is absolutely a way you can do it but it's a bit labor intensive and frankly, a little bit of a faff. So there are a couple of other websites that I like to check first if I'm gonna be using campsites and not gonna be staying off grid or using airs and I'll talk about those very shortly. So when you're in the UK, there's a couple that I use mainly. If you're a member of one of the big clubs, so either the Caravan and Motorhome Club or the Camping and Caravanning Club, both of those sites have got ways of filtering out their campsites so that you can see which ones are open. Now this might be as simple as putting in the dates that you want to travel for your trip and it will come up with a list of campsites that are available. Obviously if they're available they're going to be open but you can also find and look at things like reviews and you can see if anybody mentions the word Christmas or New Year for example and you can also see the last minute availability on some of them and that will show you some of the campsites that have got late availability or last minute availability so that helps. Another website that I use a lot is called pitchup, pitchup.com and that's brilliant it's got ways of filtering all the different campsites and it also includes independent campsites but it's got ways of filtering out so you can find hard standing pitches. I love a hard standing pitch, especially in the winter because the ground is too soggy. I don't want to get stuck in the mud. So hard standing pitches, certainly campsites that take pets and also ones if you want electric hookup, you can find ones that have got that. Now, don't forget, there will not be anywhere near as many as there will be in the summer. So you need to accept the fact that you might have to go a little bit further away than you might be used to. But pitch up is a brilliant way of at least finding the site. Top tip, sometimes it's cheaper to find the campsite and then book it directly with the campsite rather than through pitch up. I'm assuming pitch up charge the campsite as a fee and so that gets added on and it can be a little bit more expensive to use the website. But also I wanna help support the website because it does such a great job of sharing when the campsites are open so it's up to you which method you use but it can be a little bit cheaper booking direct with the site. The third proper website that I use to find campsites that are open all year in the UK is one that's a little bit clunky and I don't like using it but it really does work and it's called UK campsite no s dot co dot uk and like I say, I don't particularly like the layout or the look of it, but once you get your head around that, you can find the section that says open all year, and then you can click onto it by region, and you can see campsites that are open all year. Again, there won't be as many as you're used to, and certainly over the Christmas period, you want to book up as quickly as possible because some of the sites get booked up really, really far in advance. Now, Europe is a little bit more difficult purely because it's such a big place. One option you can do is just type straight into Google, campsites open all year, near Bordeaux for example and you can see campsites that are open all year near Bordeaux. Google is not infallible and sometimes it will show you results that actually aren't open all year so that's not a method I prefer to use. What I do because I'm an ACSI member and if you are going to be able to travel outside of the school summer holidays and I would recommend using ACSI certainly in the winter you will save a lot of money on campsite pitches. The trick though is to remember to take your ACSI card in to the campsite when you go to pay so that you can actually get the discount but the website and the app for ACSI is superb for Europe for 
showing you campsites that are open all year. And again, you can put in your proposed travel dates, you can find campsites that are open, see if they've got availability. And some of them you can even put directly through the website or the app. The ones that won't let you do that, you need to phone or email. Now, of course, the other method you can use is use one of the apps. So Camper Contact or Park for Night or even Search for Sites, but Search for Sites is better in the UK in my opinion. But one of those apps will show you the campsites that are around the region that you're going to be touring. And then you can absolutely click through into the details and then go through to the website and book directly or send them an email and see if they are open. A little bit more labour intensive but at least that's a way of finding out that the campsite is there. You can also use pitchup.com for Europe. I don't know how many of the European campsites it has compared to the UK ones, but it's certainly got a few. But the other website that I like to use is the Euro Campings. Works really similar to the ACSI site, and you've got a whole long list of campsites, and you can filter that out to see the ones for the region and the area and the time that you want to visit and see what campsites are open. Now, of course, there are other ways of traveling throughout the winter months that don't include campsites. So in the UK, you've got schemes like Brit Stops, highly recommend them, but even just pubs, you can navigate by pubs. And there are plenty of other smaller sites like CSs and CLs. A lot of them stay open all year, not all. A lot of them are farmers and they close because of the fields. But some of the ones that have got better facilities, they tend to stay open all year, especially if they've got hard standing pitches. In Europe, don't forget, you can use the air scheme. And airs, if you don't know, they are approved overnight motorhome parking spots. I will leave the link below for how you can find airs and what they are and you can get a little bit more information if you don't already know. But most of those stay open all year round. If you're going up into the mountains for winter, some of the airs do shut. And even if they don't shut, obviously there's going to be a lot of snow. It does vastly reduce the capacity on the airs. So while it might be quite a big one in the summer, it could be quite small in the winter. So that's just something to be aware of. Ha, aware of. Okay, right, moving on. But that's definitely a good option for you to find ways of traveling around Europe without having to need to worry about whether the campsites are open or not. And of course, the other option is off-grid or wild parking, however you want to say it. Of course, in Europe, it's a lot easier than it is here in the UK, but you do need to make sure that your motorhome or your camper van is properly equipped so that you can stay off-grid when you're not gonna get so much solar and you're gonna use more power and more heating. So do make sure you spend a little bit of time checking that your systems are all suitable for that. If you want a little guide on how to do that, I'll leave you my free link below. You can get that and make sure you work your way through it before you really, really need it. Right, I hope that gives you some ideas on how you can find places to stay over winter. Let me know what exciting adventures you've got planned and where you're hoping to visit, and maybe I'll see you out on the road somewhere. If you found this video helpful, a thumbs up is always very much appreciated. And if you're new and you'd like more motorhoming and adventure travel tips, then feel free to subscribe. Thank you as always for your time and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye.